food. He hops the foot like he's supposed to. He's out. Put my butterfly in here. Okay, I can gas pedal. Boom, I can finish this here. I can go to set up. To set up my Barambolo. Coming in here and switching. Or flipping in my heel hook. When that's happening. He's probably, like I said, he's probably going to like be happy to get the foot back here. Okay? But, if for some reason he thinks something's fishy, and when you're going to do this, he's not just letting you put the foot in. He's like, oh, this guy's tricking something. I'm going to flip the here. And now I've got my Aoki lock. And now I'm going back into the same position here. Yes. And that's probably going to break his ankle if he doesn't tap really quick, okay? All that is, is instead of being over under the heel, I'm pinching the toes in my armpit. I'm coming under the heel. Yes, this is considered a straight ankle lock. Yes, this is legal. Yes, this is not really a straight ankle lock. <laughs> but it's considered legal in all tournaments for straight ankle locks, to my knowledge, okay? You can hook your arms up, you can just come here and push. That's putting it there, okay? That's bad, guys. They're sliding that foot over, boom, we catch it right there. That's gonna probably be worse than this one for sure. So that's just one more option in this transition, okay? So we're wanting to, you know, come in, finish this one with the gas pedal, or boom, we drop in the hooky lock, boom, finish there. Or if they let us bring it in the center, we switch, and that's when we get our beer and bolo. Or, uh, or we're here, we're not feeling the barambolo, so we come over here and we go in for the leg. We're switching, come in there. Remember when you get this leg, I want to get this foot by my head if I can. Almost like I'm going for a knee bar, because if he can turn that way and hide his heel and toe, then he starts getting out, okay? Yes, I can collect this leg, if I can keep this right here on my head and hold the foot, turn that way. I, I'm feeling pressure in his knee just right there. Then I can come up and dig, okay? So those are our options from last week. So adding in that Aoki lock is, is a nice little detail too. But they keep trying to get out and you just keep having options. So when you get your single leg, when we're here, we bring it up. Most of the time I tell you guys a treetop, boom, we're coming to the outside and taking it back. Okay, and that's good. If you are a leg lock guy, but you're really trying to improve on your wrestling, you can use this as a setup too to mix it in. I've got my single leg position here. I step back, put my foot here. Now, if you go to the inside, I'm normally gonna take him out to do this. Because when I take him down, he can pull me into guard. Okay, but if I'm here and I'm keeping distance, it's not so bad. Now I can just step in and push. I can just drive him back, depending on how flexible he is. Okay? But what I can do here is, when I go to take him down, here, boom, when he hits the mat, look where I'm at. I'm going to step in, fall back. Here's my butterfly Oshi. Boom, there's the break. Or I'm right back into this whole situation here. I can take the back rim bolo, I go for 11. In points scenario, yeah, it's good to take it down and get two points. Right now, we're kind of a neutral position. They may give you the two, though, since you ended on top and then fell back. Uh, but a lot of times, I'm going to say, oh, don't just fall back from top position. Submission only or something? You're trying to get some submissions in here. Sometimes being straightforward, trying to pass guard, is a hard place to get them. But you can use little tricks like this to, to fall back into it. So one more time here. I came in, I got my leg here. I'm going to step to the inside, take that in, step right in. You can spin over knee bars, all kinds of stuff in this position. But the easy one to do, I'm just hooking right here and falling back. Right there. And be careful, guys, because if you fall back, locked in, you get all on your shoulder, they may not have time to tap. And you, if they do tap, you may not have time to let go <laughs> as you're falling. So be careful in here for sure. Uh, be careful in competition as well, but a little more serious there, you know, it's, uh, it happens. Questions on that? Okay, so we just around getting in that position in the first place and also adding in that Aoki lock and you continue to drill any of the things we're already working on. Okay, got it, one, two, three.